and going after the governor. Legal action just announced over the money Governor Snyder is using to defend himself in the Flint water crisis. Thanks for joining us this noon. Also topping our news at noon, this brand new video from the formal announcement that began about an hour ago. Basically, an Ingham County judge is being asked to OK a grand jury investigation of Governor Rick Snyder. This is not over Flint water, but over his authorizing of public money to pay for the legal defenses of those embroiled in the crisis, including his own defense. Mara McDonald caught up with the governor before this afternoon's announcement. The flags mark the spots where the lead pipes have been removed outside of Carrie Weber's Flint home, but the damage has already been done. So words. The entire family yeah. is suffering with the effects of lead poisoning. What got the ball rolling? Her teenage daughter, Victoria, went in for an MRI on her hip. What the doctors found was lead riddling the teen's body. They pulled me out of the room. There's three doctors, two techs there, wanted to know exactly what we had done to her. What has the lead done to all the Webbers, even their pets? Carrie's husband has uncontrollable high blood pressure and even had an eye stroke. Daughter Victoria continues to suffer with lead effects. Daughter Stephanie contracted Legionnaires and their beloved dog Jasmine died from lead. The EPA says an acceptable level of lead in water is 15 parts per billion. In the Weber home. I got a phone call on Sunday night from a very upset young man just frantic because our water was 18 her parts per billion. Carrie's sick too, but more than anything, she is angry and she's got a lawyer. Former Michigan Democratic Party Chairman Mark Brewer, who is filing this today. We are asking the Ingham County Circuit Court to conduct a criminal investigation of the governor's authorization uh, for payment of his own legal fees. I'm Mara McDonald, Local 4. Well, you certainly feel for that family. So in essence, what Brewer is asking for here is a one man jury to conduct an investigation about whether using public money in this capacity is appropriate. Where this could become a very big issue, though, is if the attorney general does actually charge Governor Snyder in connection with the water crisis. There are two news conferences scheduled for today about the legal action, and the first happened in Lansing. The second will play on Flint. We will also put much more on this case on clickondetroit.com so you can follow along.